We're getting back to our next pool. These are their I let's see, that was what just finished their first warm-up song. Yeah, yeah, okay. So that makes sense. The second stage, okay. Now we will get to see Osrush. Ooh, okay. All right. Very tricky 14. This is uh, looking like Steve's uh, pocket based on the uh, PBs, if I had to guess. I think that's a safe guess. It might be for the, I don't know. That, Boss Rush is one of those where it has a slowdown in the middle and it's like quite hard to hold a full combo on. Uh, there's definitely been some players that complain about this. Like, some players even in this pool that I'm aware of. Absolutely. This, this chart, that slowdown, especially MA in that slowdown, because the timing doesn't feel right in it either. Yeah. Difficult timing I'm referring to. Freddy picking up quite a number of perfects and goods. Still in an incredibly close match approaching the end of the slowdown. Steve does have the lead though. Yeah, he has the. The more uh, green air, he has the green, green to a blue combo. But Freddy still has 54 on his pacemaker, so he's still like kind of ripping. Oh, okay, 90x, still very close. Oh my gosh, it is 2EX right now. Oh, it is dead even. The last double step crossover section before the end. Outstanding play from both players. Getting a getting a like just a triple A on that chart is impressive enough, let alone like a full combo and Steve does both of them. Knock off. Next up we will have Starlight Fantasia. Yeah, Starlight and Fantasia is your uh, difficult, I believe, for the 12. Um, that, that chart does have a rock in it. Like, it, the 15 is kind of notorious for that, as being like a harder 15. So it lends to, it lends to reason that the 12 is just a baby or a version of that. Um, but yeah, this is on Freddy's card. The last one was Steve's card pick that Freddy, that Freddy picked. Very barely losing to. Um, but yeah, uh, we got a triple A PD from Red to a no play for Steve, but that could just be an A3 thing. It's a very good tournament pick, by the way, Starlight Man.
dropping gold after the stop. Freddy hanging on to the lead by about 60 extra. Like, by 60 extra. Speed. Oh, Freddy, so that speed up is up Ready the first to crack a thousand on the start. It's a pretty sizable lead now. It's like 30x. Basically, it's face taker. And he'll take it. 1183, or 1186 to 1145. That's a 41 EX. Uh, yes. Wow. Third one, five and one. Neck and neck for like the entire song until near the end there, where Freddie managed to pull it out. Yeah. I Means Freddie still has a chance at this this match with this um, upcoming card draw. Yeah. Yeah, they were neck and neck for a lot of that too. Absolutely. And the first song too. Very even matchup. Yeah. So it looks like we'll be taking it to a game three since Steve very barely won uh, the first song. Pretty won this one. So we got uh, three randoms, two beaches. So we got Life is Beautiful DSP. Uh, as the leftover song in their uh, That's it. In this See you week. next time on the and dance then the Vitos floor. were Orion 78 challenge. Or excuse me, next there's no challenge. And then tell me what to do, uh challenge. We're both Vitos. So. so we got another MA check for our uh, game three. Absolutely, and that last MA check was super even. Yeah. Life is Beautiful is like a very rhythmically interesting chart, and the 16 is like very stamina draining. The 12 kind of has some of the same rhythms in that the 16 throws at you, but like with a lot less stamina. And so it's just kind of a, a check for like how well you do hold on to complex. Also, just a banger. Echo Mana Master. Never disappoints. Looks like Freddy will be going into this one on a site for this difficulty. Yeah. I mean, I will say that having familiarity with the 16 probably prepped pretty well with the 12. But like, given that it uses a lot of the same, like, triplety rhythm. There we go. by Freddy. He loses gold. Four yes. Now it's six, seven, four years. First break for Freddy. Uh, still a 13 EX uh, difference here. Yeah, up about 30, yeah. The final stretch of the song, see Steve pull it out. 
Alright, Freddy takes it with 13. 31 and 2. So a 35 from Max. To a 45. What do we see as a warm up, huh? I think it's Deuce. Deuce, uh, Deuce Pick is the warm up. Ooh, Mermaid. That's a pretty good. Uh, that's a pretty good PFC to have on the 12. I don't think this is a side read for Lubana. I'm pretty sure either played it at some point or uh, maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. Definitely. Or not. They're, they debate us. We're not we're not gonna see Mermaid Girl. Oh, oh no, never mind. They debate by debating. <laughs> Keeping the on toes. I guess. So Shop that is a warm-up. So it's an interesting choice. Yeah. I'd like to take a note that the artist is Green Pop. It's a great artist. Solid play by Booth Player. Solid warm up. Solid warm up. Mermaid Girl a banger. Looks like we're starting the chaos. Yeah, chaos! The chaos emerald! The chaos terror tech mix! Banger though. Um, Duke only showing at 913, but 963 on the 50. Yeah. So they clearly really have familiarity with the song. He has familiarity with the song, yeah. He has a 963 on the 15, uh, which is a similar PB to uh, the Banner's uh, PB on the 15. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how uh, Duke uh, handles uh, CTTM as you can shorthand for it. Uh, very fun 12, very good pocket pick for a 12 folder, as it is a harder 12, as I said before. Um, and we get right into it.
looks like Ivana is actually playing this on Mirror as well. Dude got a ribbon on his face paper right now. Absolutely. The familiarity with the 15 steps on the top of this Ooh. Does pick up a good. Uh, but it's still very, very, like, very close. Bit of Duke's favor, though. He's up by, like, 11. The last section of this song is where most of the stops are interrupted streams are. And we have a lead change. Ubana just took that with that last section. Ooh, it is almost tied. But it's now tied. <laughs> Zubana takes their pick on that chart. Wow. Respectful play by Duke. He held, he held both for long on that chart. Very incredibly close matches so far in his last couple of sets. Yeah, I imagine if Duke had just a slight more familiarity, he probably could have taken that from Zubana. But Zubana will uh, take game one. Ah, this is exciting, Motonta. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, I'll, I'll say that this is a very interesting 13. It's, uh, it's got, like, very odd rhythms. It does this thing where it's like, It, like, shoots like a 16th note every time. Yeah. You know, a lot of people like to go with a thump and bump. So songs that offset that can often throw off your timing. You lose that sense of like where the downbeats and rhythms should start. Yeah. Um, this also has, in addition to that like weird rhythm patterning, it also has like a little bit of skittles. Like literally, like there's a part in the middle where it's just like all over the place. Like it's just kind of like random. It, it feels very much so. so. Very good tournament thing. about 13 if he nails the end and he gets it. And he'll take it. 
Any PFC's exciting mo cha cha in live in tournament. Wow. That's a, actually really impressive to see a PFC of that at all, let alone in tournament. Right? And he's like right on the money in terms of his fast flow, so he definitely felt the window too. 51 perfect to a 58 and 3 run. Okay, so we're gonna be playing Happy Star Angel Expert. Uh, and it looks like a Wild Dory Difficult and a Trippity Climax Expert 12 for both Vitos. Uh, three twelves on the random. That's, uh, that's an interesting one. That's an interesting one. Two of those twelves, pretty rough twelves, though. <laughs> I can see why they they didn't choose them. Yeah. I I don't know. I might have gone for a wild Ori in that. Pool. I don't know. I I know I know the gimmicks of a wild Ori pretty well. I don't feel like it. I I would I would probably go for that if I had that. Pool, but. They, we're going. We're going with a with a dude banger that just recently got a challenge card. As you can see, uh, we're not quite at the level to play it, but uh, as you can see, Duke has familiarity with both of those cards. He has PFC the 12. He has a 973 on the 16, and that 16 is quite a 16. Rubana also showing familiarity. 98 on the 12. Yeah, he's flat. That, that's, I mean, that's about as good as a PSC. I think we're about to watch another very close match. Yeah. All right, here we go. Happy Star Angel. An angel, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> they both get the, they both give that angel that halo. 23 to 28. Wow, that was a really tight match. Incredible. You know, when you're in that moment, it's really hard to not look at your opponent's score. You can yeah. tell if you look at your opponent's score, it's over. Yeah. Like you lose your concentration, start getting worried. Yeah. Especially when it's on the tiebreaker song, you know. Yeah. Really high stakes on that song. Yeah, you have to like be really dialed in at like that point, you know, just like eyes on the receptors type deal. It's like they're doing rock, paper, scissors for next round. We got Lubana and Steve coming up. So Lubana hot off their win against the Dooster. And then we got Steve and Let's see the picks. We got Pursuer. And Heaven is a 57 again. You know, Pursuer, very good chart. Very fun. Yeah. When, who had Heaven, Heaven is a 57? Because I remember seeing that. Was that like two pools ago or one pool ago? I think it was last pool, actually. Oh, 
Yeah, so Pursuer, 14. Uh, that's definitely a harder 14. It's very tricky. It's got a big BPM discrepancy and really tricky weapons in the small part, which is most of the song. Yeah. You know, if you don't know that it is slow for most of the song and you think it's fast, like if you're not familiar with the chart, you might set your speed mod too low. And if you set your speed mod too low, it's, it's really hard to recover from that. Chart. Yeah. Then we got Evan to the 57 again. <laughs> Ubana giving the fans some panic. Kind of neat. So we got a PFC to a triple A PB here. Uh, Steve with a 46. And Ubana with a triple A. holding on to that. Currently beating his PB. Yeah, by eight. And this is a hard 12, too. but definitely improves EX from his uh, PFC run. Yeah, seven EX gain. Yeah. And I think uh, this was one uh, women non-binary tournament. I got sick of Sewer, 75 to 300 BPM. Yeah. Let's see what speed mods are going to see what we Yeah, I mean, it's usually smarter to read uh, as if it were like 300 for the 14, uh, at least how I see it. Um, and then, like, you can maybe, if you want to just choose the 17, you can try reading it as if it's 150, but. Uh, they both opt to read it at 2x. Interesting. I mean, that does make it 600, which is like probably about what you want. I think he 
it's interesting. Neither player is using sun. Sometimes people will use the sun on this song just to read most of the first part of the song. But neither player is opting for that game. Ivana does have a healthy lead despite Steve improving on his EV by 14 PM. And here comes the speed up. Ivana holds on, takes it by 26. Steve able to increase his EX by 22 from his old PB though. So it's still very good performance from Steve. Yeah, very good showing, very good showing. 69 and 4, nice! nice. <laughs> Getting that nice perfect tell for Lubana. And he'll take game two. So we go to an, yet another game three. This is our third game three. Third, every set so far this pool has had a game three. Yeah, every set this pool has had a game three. All right, so we have, uh, oh my gosh, Leave musical us. cosmology, the Sorehe no Haramichi Hipu. Oh, two dude, one way ticket to space. <laughs> Everyone calls it Space Man, but that's technically wrong. It's That's literally just the jacket. It's one-way ticket to space, but... I was salty until I PFC'd it, so now I respect the title. I, I used to call it Space Man. I was like, ah, oh, it's gonna be Space Man until I PFC it. And then I PFC'd it, I'm like, all right, I respect it now. <laughs> very straightforward 13. Very straightforward, very well synced. Yeah, definitely an MHA. Yeah. Uh, we got an 83 to 73. Steve with the advantage and PBs. We'll see how uh, that translates here. One of the players hopping from here, Lubana. They actually picked uh, Mir on the Heaven is a 57 as well. I wonder, oh my gosh, I wonder if that's like a mod that they forgot to change. Uh, they turned it off for Pursuer though. So it must be intentional. Oh, yeah, okay, yeah, you're right. You do pick up a great, though. Uh, you still have an EX lead. Lubana has about six currently. I have a hunch this is going to be a set where it's really hard to change the lead, so you really got to be careful of the straight, you know, perfect seat. Ivana takes it by 12. They hug it out. It's a seven and two. Oh my wow. Lord. That's really good MA for that. Despite the grades, like, whew. Okay, yeah, they were cooking something with Mirror, I guess. Almost a month, almost under 10 in this EX. Wow. I wonder if they were just hunting for a 13 SDP and have just played the chart so much that they have such familiarity. I mean, they basically did. Uh, if those grades were perfect, that would be an SDP. Yeah. I mean, they only missed the missing, like the single digit missing EX by 11. Yeah. So 11, it's two grades for what caused it. Yeah, Still, so that's insane. To be uh, able to just pull that out in tournament, um, what, uh, 21 and 1 for Steve. He put up a good, he put up a good run too. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, I would lose for that if I were to play that in tournament right now. Definitely. That's it. See you next.
last time on the dance floor. All right, so we have Freddy and Doof in the next set. So Doof has to try and bounce back from last round, and Freddy is looking to take yet another pool. Uh, he, uh, I believe he took, uh, he took the set against Steve, I remember that. So yeah, he has to try and go 2-0, and yet take another song. We got New Century and uh, B4U Voltage, both four teams. B4U, B4U Voltage is a very spicy pocket, by the way. Yes, I, it is. It's a very fun chart, though. You say fun. I I have personal history against this chart. <laughs> it's it's tough. There's one part where it's like, it, and it has like a 16th run where it's like, it's got jacks in it. It's either you're good at it or you're not. But, but yeah, uh, we got that in New Century. New Century very much a uh, an MA check as a 14. We're going to be starting with B4U, though. 976 for Freddy. Uh, and a triple A for Juice. In terms of PB. I always feel like they're saying yes, but it's actually jump. I used to just think that they were chanting yes. I always thought the only words I said was B4 and you. <laughs> B4 and you. But yeah, no, it's literally jump, 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 DDR. I used to think it was like, Jeff, 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 keep it up. <laughs> <Show me. laughs> Both players already with green. Ready with a miss. Do pretty miss on here as well. Oh yeah, that's that's true. What? I didn't even think of mirror as a monitor. Dude is, I know Dude's a big mirror in the auto pool. I follow along his guy. He'll like he'll use mirror a lot. Freddy is currently up by like three. Holding on to a little sentence. Duke picks up a miss as well. Oh, it's now like 20 some odd EX by Freddy. Freddy's ripping. He's up 30 on his base base. Very tricky section coming up with these double steps. All right, the infamous run. Might decide it. Freddy's still holding on to the lead, though, and will take it. 1,004 EX to 963. Wow. <laughs> Who's going to stop Freddy? That's a good question. <laughs> Duke does get a nice perfect count, though. Unfortunately loses, but he does get that nice perfect count, and that's what matters, right? Yeah, winner in our hearts. <laughs> All right, we move on to New Century. And he's also got the nice, perfect count for uh, his money score on New Century. So he does have the PB difference currently with uh, uh, eight perfects. Mod. I believe people really like left right on this just because of what it does to the end. Uh, we get an early great by Duke though. Actually, an early great by both of them, really. Pretty even at all these things. Are this
Freddy, uh, first to 800. Two for about 10 back. Freddy beating his old BB for EX. Yeah. Despite losing that EX. Yeah. This was, uh, this was like a PSC Freddy actually got like multiple times and like really, really trying hard for it. He flagged it for the longest time and he recently closed it. That's paying off in dividends here. As he takes it here, 20 EX over Duke. Very well done on Freddy's end. 11 EX improvement. Yeah, 26 is what? A minus 48 for Max and Duke putting up 48. Oh yeah, that's, that's really good MA. Absolutely. Very clean run, and Freddy takes yet another another set. There is a real chance that he could be promoting again. <laughs> Four pools are on the table for Freddy. He'll be like promoting past all of my commentary, all of our commentary, really. <laughs> Absolutely, he's like make it to day two. Yeah, at the rate he's going, <laughs> no one can he's stop cooking. him. I'm trying to remember, I know Duke is just coming off, uh, off of uh, trying to bounce back after having to having to be in the line of Freddy's Rampage. Uh, and we're going to be seeing him against Steve again. And we're going to be seeing uh, Can't Stop Falling in Love Speed Mix 12 and uh, Prana and Rev Addict's uh, DSP. There's some gimmicks in that 13. Um, otherwise, kind of straightforward. It's got like a little bit weird sync at parts, but other than that, like, I mean. Very, pretty straightforward set. Yeah. You know, can't stop falling in love. Very simple. Yeah. 12. Yeah, yeah. I would say that's like probably one of those uh, 12 that are a little bit easier than the other ones. Is that a boomer? Like, can't stop falling in love speedy tricks? I think it is. Like, it's an older song. Yeah, I believe it's... Someone in the, in the chat will correct me. I want to say that's, like, Supernova? Maybe. Maybe. I don't really, like, sort by uh, game mix that much. I probably should do that more, just to, like, have that, like, uh, have that trivia knowledge. Uh, but we're not even going into that. We're going to the front of Rev first. And we got Duke with a 20, perfect PB to an almost triple A. Select level.
Duke will take it. 1424, or 1427 to 1400 exactly. 27 DX difference. We'll win game one of the set. 46 and one. So, uh, 55 for Matt. Pretty good, pretty good image. Duke is really able to block that starting from the get go. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's one of those part familiar familiarity does help because uh, it does have some stop. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum we have can't stop falling in love speedmix, which is a very straightforward 12. It is speed mix though, so you know it is faster, but it was probably faster as in like an old school in an old school type of way. Uh, I feel like 170 nowadays isn't considered fast, but. Lots of crossovers. Is like Steve actually doing the crossovers? Yeah. I crown you king, the combo king. Make some noise, my combo. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. You can do this. You're holding on to gold. Reminding us, one of our sponsors is Cone Cone, apparently. You can see it down here. Cone Cone by me. So we've seen both players with a PFC on this card, despite it being like quite new. Uh, 19 versus like a little, like 36 uh, PBs. So Lubana does have the advantage in this situation, although Freddy is familiar with the 14, so. This is, this is Freddy's pick as well. Yeah. Yeah, only 
with about three AIs currently. So anyone's game though. Very tricky rhythm there. Oh, now it's five. Bana takes it. Ooh, okay, all right. A 5EX difference. Ooh, a lot of back and forth there. Insanely close match once again. Yeah. Wow. Freddy might, Freddy might still have to fight. Might still even more because Bana is uh, he's not. Bana's not giving up. That's for sure. Neither I is Freddy. I go down without a fight. That was very close though. And now we get into Fascination Max. Wow, there's a PFC on this. This is not an easy 13 to have PFC. <laughs> I can see why Lubana put, picked this as their pocket. Yeah. All right, well, Freddy's gotta surmount and get another challenge to see if he can uh, maybe progress in this pool. If not, it's gonna come down to a tiebreaker uh, between them. And I think that means Lubana, because they went the head to head here in this season, they would advance. Getting it good right off the bat. Meanwhile, Lubana with point two to be hitting? Exactly 20 at the stop, yeah, exactly 20. Seven and four. A pretty good score on that, honestly. All things considered, that's a tough card to even triple A. Freddy still also putting up a triple A on that. And yep. that means uh, Lubana should advance. Lubana does advance. Yes. I believe. Uh, let's confirm that, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that's how that works out with the head to head. Yeah, I believe it's who won the most rounds followed by their win percentage. Oh, is it win percentage or is it like head to head? Does head to head have anything to do with it? The the head to head is the um like the first factor. So if someone's won three head to heads. Oh, Lumana moving on. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Lumana is moving on. Yeah, it was head to head that mattered first. Yeah. All right. All right, you guys, that's enough of our commentary for today. I had a wonderful time with you, Kid Crab. I, uh, we got to witness, uh, wow, just like Freddy uh, just showing up. Yeah, from <laughs> the start of Freddy's journey to the end, we got to be there for the whole thing. Yeah. Um, amazing run, incredibly close matches, hype gameplay, yeah. and there's still more to come. Yeah. And uh, congratulations to Luna, uh, Lubana for advancing to their pool, uh, taking down Freddy, finally. 
uh, ending his reign of terror. So anyways, uh, that's it for us. We are going to uh, hand it off to our next commentators. So uh, we, I will be commentating uh, early tomorrow on a different stream. So look for me. Uh, and I will see you guys later.